Tell you what, we're gonna delete this task. And we are going to put in, no, not a tunnel, a mine. I'm gonna put it right about here. Okay, um, whoops. I remember there was a way to increase the the sides somehow no that's that's well that's camera rotate no look at that um never quite remember the buttons whoops maybe ah here we go yes <clears throat> increase yay go all the way increase the width yes um and increase the depth doot doot do 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 all right that looks good that looks yes let's just let's uh cavitate this cavity all right gentlemen you are going to have the glory of digging for the mole people, and for all moles everywhere. Take it away, boys. Oh, look at them go. They are, they are splendid. I wish I had them when I was digging my trench from my well to my pump house. That would have been great. Oh, this... Uh, <laughs> that was a very rough eight feet of trench that I had to dig by hand. The ground out here is... Um, well, it's decaying sandstone, and you have to pick at it by hand. So what I would do is I would, I would swing a pick at it, and put, it, chop it down about an inch, and then I would pour um, about five to ten gallons of water on it, and I would let it soak up for a few hours, and I'd come back, and I would be able to clear out another couple inches, on down, and I would re repeat the process over. And over. Needless to say, eight feet of trench took me about two weeks to dig by hand. Um, that is why we've invented tractors and things like that. But like I said, um, the ground out here is so difficult to negotiate with that you know it's just it w it would have been really hard on the equipment. That and equipment is expensive. My time is cheap. And besides, I like I like doing repetitive, mundane tasks. As you can see through my uh, my playthroughs. All right, so I think we're gonna run out of space rather quickly. So uh, get to work there, little buddy, and be sure to leave gaps for people to, for our little our little homies to walk around through. Yes, excellent. This is the beginning of our burgeoning empire, gentlemen. <clears throat> oh yeah, we should, uh, alright, I'll cancel that, and then we should probably also place barrels, because barrels will go a long ways in, um, well, for our catapults and things. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just kind of rambling on and on, and you're listening. <clears throat> It helps, it helps sometimes, you know, just to get it all out there in the open and say that I really, really, really like puppies. All right, well, this looks like good places for barrels. You can access them on all sides. They'll just kind of end cap our rows. Fantastic, splendid, I love it. Look at that. Couldn't get any more perfect. I'm wondering if I'm going to create some sort of bottleneck issue later on down the road, but we'll, that we'll, we will worry about at another time. All right, so taking down the hill, looking good, gentlemen. Why are you just stopping? You're just kind of staring off into space. What are you doing? What is this little Britron thinking? He was on a coffee break, I suppose. All right, back to work, Pippo. Fru Fru, hey, were you were you back talking to your supervisor? Because I do not appreciate that, sir. I control your life. 
games do kind of fulfill uh, a god complex, I've just realized. <laughs> yeah. And we do not have any resources <clears throat> for Jack Squat. Oh, wow, that kind of hurts my throat beatboxing there. Well, hopefully this uh, sore throat will go away and my voice can return back to normal. I'm kind of sounding like a TV announcer at this point. Just a very phlegmy TV announcer. <clears throat> we are going at a standard 30 frames per second. I love it. It's very good. What's over here? Can I get to this area? Oh, wow. There's a lot of trees. We're going to go up. No, I'm going to have to build a bridge. Wow, this place is laden. It's practically swollen with uh, with material. That is fantastic. Whoa! Oh, I thought those were I thought those were huge mountains on islands off in the back there, but uh, apparently not. They are just trees on floating bits of terra firma. I wonder if there's like some sort of a backstory for this. If there's like some sort of horrible cataclysm that created all these floating rocks in space, or if that's just the way this world. Uh, tends to operate. Alright, keep going, guys. We need more materials so that we can bring in more workers so that we can dig some more. It's a lovely process. I think you'll all enjoy it. <laughs> and this guy is uh, not doing anything right now, so that'll... We will create some more stockpile... Get rid of all that overabundance of wood that we have. There we go. And in order to place these just properly, you have to hold your tongue just right in order to get it done. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. All right, keep keep working there. Plat platon. Platon? Platon? <clears throat> Alright, well, we'll go with that. So you birth these guys from cr from a giant crystal. That's interesting. I wonder if the crystals... F oh, well, maybe there's an origin story there. These guys are actually like alien invaders. The crystals themselves are launched from space and they just embed themselves in the planet's surface. And the Brictrons are issued forth to mold the world to the crystal's will. Yes! That's that's it right there. Aliens. I can't get off of aliens. Or or maybe the uh, the, the crystal manifests itself. This is the soul the souls of thousands of Brictrons that is just kind of coagulated and crystallized there in the center and it lets forth physical entities. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'll just I'll just leave the video game philosophy to the smarter ones, and I will continue leveling a hill because this appeals to my simian instincts. I love watching these guys work. I wish there was kind of a mod like that in Minecraft where you could spawn a couple workers or even if there was like some dwarf cities or something and you could you could stumble upon them and they would be there with their with the, with their own like little dwarven village underground and they have they would have mines and stuff that they would they would dig or cuz I think that would be really cool. You have villages up on the surface but those are very rare and uh, far between. I think it would be quite lovely to run into, you know, below ground villages. Have it so that they spawn at um in uh chasms or um at the edge of a mining at the edge of a mine, of an abandoned mine. Cuz that would help explain why the mines are there in the first place. Okay, guys, you're doing a very fantastic job. We do not have any um 
soul thingies floating around yet, which is which is kind of a drag.